Hello, everybody. This is Guido Pickard, VP of IR and Corporate Communications at Extron. Important to note as well, and this is new for us and for everybody else, is that we um, had the EU taxonomy kicking in for, for many companies, uh, meaning that they have to report about uh, taxonomy eligible or taxonomy aligned revenues, OPEX and CAPEX. Eligible is, is, a, is a broader figure, so that could theoretically match to what the EU brought out as a, as a criteria catalog. Um, and then if it's aligned, it is proven that it fits into that. And we have, I, I don't know how many companies have also done that, uh, certainly as one of the few companies have reported taxonomy aligned values. And this, uh, this proves really uh, or gives it a quantitative proof. What we've been talking about is that our technologies or the technologies made on our tools on the devices made on our tools enable, let's say, the areas of energy efficiency, as I said, sustainability, digitalization, and so help to uh, avoid CO2 emissions on a broad scale. And looking at the figures, this is quite impressive. We have around about 57% of our 2021 revenues as EU taxonomy aligned. And at the same time, 39% of our CapEx, of our investments, and 76% of our OPEX operational expenses are EU taxonomy aligned. And uh, the operational expenses that we have out there are um, literally our R&D expenses into new technologies that will even at a, at a bigger scale help, uh, help to, to deliver green revenues at the end of the day. So this is, this is where we're heading, um, the taxonomy aligned revenues. I told you about uh, very, very high values here. We have to see how this, how this fits into the overall industry, but I think we're very far ahead here. We have uh, very, very uh, positive ESG ratings from different rating agencies. So you can really say Extron is high tech, is green, and um, and is is growing at the same time because the growth we saw we saw now um, from 20 to 21 we continue to see growth also into 2022 and uh, you can be sure we will see further growth uh, further on because then we see uh, things like um, things like micro led kicking in in a stronger in a stronger uh, partial partial revenue and also we see silicon carbide as a material to convert the power between the battery and the mode and the engine and also the charger in uh, electric vehicles kicking in stronger so the industry is at the moment preparing for strong growth of capacity strong investments going into into uh, the capability to produce silicon carbide devices and uh, we will profit off that and we already see that when we said that we won another, another big customer of the top five um, that we're dealing with that has placed already big orders or will, is about to place big orders, as we said in the call. And um, yeah, this, this is uh, paving the way for 2022 and beyond. Um, overall, very exciting growth story where we're uh, seeing here with Extron, uh, very profitable and, and also uh, prepared for, for um, encouraging overarching schemes that are driving the demand of our customers and therefore of us. As I said, digitalization, sustainability, and um, electrification, not only of automotive, but also in other areas. So great uh, to, that, that you're interested in our story. Uh, we're happy to share it. and. Uh, we will share it uh, going forward uh, with investors and also our uh, our shareholders. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, the IR department in, uh, in the region of Aachen is ready to take your questions and answer them. Thank you.
Since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. That's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and value added content possible for you. If you're a stock listed company or corporation and want to find out how we at C11A can make a company video with and about you, please email us at community at c11a.com.